Hi, this is Beata from Split Coast Stampers. In this video, I want to show you how to create a cascading or concertina card. For my sample, I used um, stamps and dies from my favorite uh, my favorite things, and the stamp set is called Snow Angel. And most of the paper is from my mind's eye Winter Wonderland. First of all, to get your cascading sides, you will need two pieces of five and a half by eight and a half pieces of cardstock and you will take them and score each of them at two and an eighth and if you have a score pal or score body it's really easy because the two and an eighth has a dot the four and a quarter has the star and then the six and three eighth has another dot on top so it's easy to remember where to score and you do the same again two and an eighth four and a quarter and six and three eighths. You can always find measurements and photo tutorials for these videos on Splitco Stampers in the resource section. And then you take your card, uh, your pieces. Put the score to the way. And you line up the first score line with uh, one, one and a half or two inches of the end of your paper cutter. It depends on how steep you want your um, cascade to be. And for me, I decided to make it two inches. So I line up the first score line, so my back is still even, uh, at, and then my end of the card at two, and cut that. And I do the same with the second piece. Two inches for the end, and score the groove, cutting groove, the first score line. I don't know if you can see that, so I'm gonna move this this way. You can see right here. And then cut that, I'll put that away. Now it's time to pre-fold those sides. These will be your card sides. And you found, fold them mountain valley style. So up and down, up and down. We have one, there's the second one, Let's see. and then these are your card, your card sides. And if you want to decorate them like I did here with patterned paper, um, just make it as easy as if you make yourself patterns from your sides so you know which angle, the right angle for your patterned paper. And each panel is two and an eighth wide. So you cut two and an eighth wide strip, like layer it underneath and then just cut the edge on the right angle. Then you adhere your paper on there and your card is almost done. Then you take a piece of four and a quarter by five and a half and you adhere your sides on here. And now we have something that looks like this. And I decorated the smallest side, the third largest, and the back. The smallest, the third, the fourth, and the back. So this one, to look, this one, the third, the fourth here. And then what you do is take an image, prepare that or sentiment, whatever you want to do, and you adhere that over the card sides to close the card up and then you, it looks like it adds a lot of dimension to your card. Now if you're wondering where you write a message you can either write it oops, sorry, either write it on the back of the card or if you like to have a card inside you can always instead of using a four and a quarter by five and a half piece of cardstock you can make it a whole card front a card and have that just as your card front. Uh, that's it already. It's a fun, unique card, and I hope you try it out. See you next time.